I am doing part four for the fifth time. I am not happy with the situation. What I should have did the very first time though was I should have filmed it first and then put my little logo, you know, with the world AIX.com flies by and boom, start the video. But no, I couldn't do that. So let me get on to the final part of this four part video thing. Um, this is like I said, the fifth time I've done part four. I'm tired of talking for 10 minutes each time, but I try to. What I want to say now is this. Um, I spoke about black people in the beginning of this video. In this last part, I'm going to talk of white people. Now, I said some things about white people that were good. I mean, I said more good shit about white people in this video than I ever have in any other video. Because I get most of my hate from black people. Most of the drama I deal with is directly because of somebody black. Um, why is that? It's because the way we were bred was the way we were trained through the TV to believe or not believe in what we are. Maybe it's white people got a conscience about what some of their ancestors have done and they try their best to be nice to everybody. But there's a few white people out there who don't really give a fuck. And those are the ones I'm going to talk about right now. I've experienced racism on several different fronts. When my wife and I were having our first child, she was seven months pregnant and we were getting to rent our first house. I hate when people do that. Why Why do that shit? So we are going to rent our first house. And we moved into the house. And the house was pretty good. You know, it was a nice one-bedroom house. You know, you can put the baby in the side. You know how you put the baby in the bassinet right there. And I think we stayed in the house three days. I knocked on the neighbor's door. And um, the neighbor was actually the owner of the house. And since I had met him once before, I, I told him, I'm like, I'm going to have to call the cable company and the telephone company to bring New Jackson, put New Jackson to the house. Is that fine with you? Because I figured it would be cheaper for you if we did it from the cable company instead of you having to call a rental agency. Because, you know, rental agency, they might want to charge you some old distributed fee or whatever, whatever. The man said, no problem. Later on that same day, the man's wife went to the rental agency where we'd been renting the place from and said, I need to get those niggers out of my house or you need to get those niggers out of my house. I don't want those niggers in my house. They want to hook up cable. They want to put telephone lines in. Um, why would they need... No, no. Get those niggers out of my house. So, of course we put the cable in. Of course we put the phone lines in and shit. Then one lady at the rental agency, when my wife went to go drop off the check for the rent. You know, because we had already gave him first and last. And my wife was like, well, we're moving all our stuff. We can't, we got stuff in this other one. Let me go ahead and pay the next month rent for money to get low. And that way, by the time everything's moved over, we don't have to pay worry about the rent. That, that'll be out of the way for one month. And the young lady, young white lady, told her, hey, this lady said this, this lady said that, blah, 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 blah. And my wife didn't think nothing of it, shit. She said, what the fuck she wants to say? We paid. We get a letter in the mail saying that um, they will give us $300 back if we leave. Well, $300, so you mean we got to be dumb enough to give you $1,800 to live in a place for four days? Luckily, my wife got that one check back, canceled it. We had the rent over in the old apartment. We weren't finished moving out of the old apartment. We moved all our shit back into the old apartment. We didn't stay in these people's house five days. Of course, we sued them. And all the lady said when we was in court was, she is a proud Italian mother and her daughter needed a place to live. Didn't sound like it when she said, get those niggers out of my house. But that's just one situation. When I was a little kid, I already told you guys about that one. Hmm. What other one? Oh, I was working at McDonald's. I don't know if I told you this one. And I'll never forget this. I was cleaning the lobby. I was 
for maintenance, man. That's what I do. I do maintenance, restaurant maintenance. I clean your restaurants for you, bitches. People talk like that now. Normally, I don't say bitches. It's their pop culture rubbing off on me. So I'm at McDonald's working cleaning the table. See this guy on the TV? <laughs> the guy looked like him, but older. And he walked up to me, and he looked right down at me, and he spit on the floor. Big fucking green loogie about that big. This old white guy. You can tell he was old because his hair was barely, you know, get the ZZ top slightly beard. And just, just a rickety old man. He looked at me, dead in my eye, just like this. Clean that up, nigger. Did he smile? Me being a person I was, I was always an asshole, and I was always everybody's friend. Say, hey, boy, come here. The young white dude just started working. Say, hey, boy, come here, man. Get that up. Point it at him. Then I looked at the white guy just like this. And then I smiled. Son of a bitch, black motherfucker. And he walks out of the place. Young kid said, hey, dude, what's up with that? I'm like, no, no problem. Man. I'll get that shit up. I never did get it up. But I threw a couple napkins on it. Again later and pushed the neck because you know those little sweet things. I wasn't gonna pick up that motherfucker's spit because he disrespected me. Um, that made me feel good defying that old white man because of all the stories I heard about white people. But then there's this one situation I was working with this white guy. He was a contractor, good guy. I was making like 16 bucks an hour. We just put in a brand new porch. And this is how ignorant, ignorant people get sometimes. He said, uh, crawl up there, man, get the tools. Crawl? Motherfucker? Fucking telling me to fucking crawl up on this goddamn porch and get some fucking tools? Stomped up the stairs. Boom, 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 boom. Grab the tool. <laughs> Drug him down. We just put in a floor. A whole new wooden floor on this porch. He wanted me to crawl up there gingerly and get the tools down. So when we came back down, just quick spray. But I was young and ignorant. So I stomped up there with my fucking shoes all dirty and shit. Thrashing the wood, dragging the tools. I was pissed. Because I was ignorant. I didn't I didn't understand what he meant by crawl up there and get the tools. As far as I'm concerned, I thought he wanted to see a black man bent over picking up his shit for him. And I was ignorant at the time. And didn't know what the fuck I was doing. And fucked up the whole porch. Now I know shit. I said to myself, hey man, crawl up there and get that shit off the porch. But I'm not in that situation anymore. I don't do construction like that no more. But the moral of the story is, is if a people don't know anything, if you are bred, ignorant, raised, blinded, you know, we were put through a tunnel. This is this is all we were learning. This is all we were taught. And that little knowledge ball is squeezing down on us. And nobody's learning nothing. And it's just moving like that. And, and there's never any room for us to get out. Because it's always clogged up with bullshit and unknowledge. Unknowledge is that shit that you feed your brain with. I bet you you can you can win that game of Madden, but I bet you can play that video game, but I bet you can't figure out how not to go to jail. Laws, rules, life itself. People are fucked up, no matter what color they are. People do fucked up shit for whatever reasons. People enslave women to this day through prostitution. We are enslaved to the credit cards, the bank statements. We are enslaved to need. Ooh, I got to pay my $65 phone bill. I got to have cable. I got to have video cameras. Oh, yes. I did a video about that man who's been causing me all this drama. I went to his website and downloaded a video of his mama. Flip that video around and know what I want you to do? I want you to send that video response to you know who. When I put the video up on my website, I want you to look at that video that same night. I want you to see what you see and see if it's real. But hey, until then, I can't be disrespectful, but you've been tubed. <laughs>